Hello guys and welcome to this video. We're going to create the frames today. This is what we're going to be doing and it's really really easy to create. So we're going to start from from our scene. Let's start. We're going to add a cube. We're going to activate the third layer and we're going to add a cube <coughs> this is really really big so we're going to scale this dot 26 okay like this I'm going to name this is going to be called name if I mean frame one be weird if I know the name is name right <clears throat> okay I'm going to scale it in Y axis really really much okay we're going to scale it dot zero one five is going to be a got number <clears throat> okay We're going to add lab cuts. Two and two. We're going to scale them. <coughs> scale in C axis. Um, we're going to scale these dot two dot eighty two and the same number with this scale x axis 2.82 okay now I'm going to select this face and we're going to extrude it okay extrude okay now this is <coughs> completely flat and has not a tail and by the way it's, com it's a perfect square and we don't like how it's looking like so we're going to modify this and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move this in x-axis and you can scale this in x-axis but let me show you what's gonna happen okay you see that you have lost the shape right now <clears throat> if I active edge length you will notice that have the same values in here and here and well this really doesn't matter these are the values that are important 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters so <clears throat> If you scale this you are going to to lose that so what we are going to do I'm going to add a lab cut in here just to 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 make it easier at least for me <clears throat> and I'm going to move this in x-axis but it's not going to be too much uh, I have a number and we're going to be using it's okay first G and select the axis which is going to be X axis and we're going to move it dot zero fifty two okay and if you want you can mirror from cursor and oh, and what you can do is or you can move the vertex it's pretty much the same because are, they are bought really quickly to achieve okay <clears throat> now um, this is completely flat as I told you and we don't like that so we're going to create something like this let me show you with the grease pencil which by the way I'm not really good at with but 
we're going to create something like this okay so it's going to be around all the frame and we're going to do that with spin so we're going to select this vertex remember that it works from cursor so alt r guys i'm not using a screen cuz i'm really really sorry but you know i i try to to use a screen cuz as default and it is not working so <laughs> that's the main reason why i used to to forget <coughs> okay now what i did is i choose the degree okay and i want 180 okay and how much steps okay i want 12 now what we're going to be doing is we're going to select the curve that we have created and well you notice that let me do it again okay I'm going to do it again alt R 12 perfect degrees and you can do this you can use a negative value and this is going to be working it's, it's completely a good option it's, it's really really good um, okay now if I move this it is connected so I'm going to separate it with Y and the Y which is a split <coughs> now from cursor we're going to scale this in Y axis because it is going to get the shape we want from the very good draw I did okay and we're going to scale it dot four okay that's a good number I'm going to move it until it, it touch this vertex and what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude it in C axis like this <coughs> okay now here is the let's say complicated it is not honestly <coughs> once you know how to do it of course okay I'm going to use uh, use the cursor in here and we're going to select this loop of vertex and we're going to be using spin again this time I'm going to be using 90 degrees and two steps okay so you may be thinking that this is not matching but this is really really easy to fix all you have to do is from cursor scale shift y and make it match for example I'm going to make it match by scaling it shift y until this dot I'm going to show you the orange dot touch the black dot so right now this is much really really good <clears throat> I will need the cursor in the center of the object because now I'm going to extrude and scale in x-axis 0 okay indeed I will need this vertex scale okay now we don't have the whole frame so what we're going to do is from cursor we're going to duplicate and scale in C axis negative one select everything okay you know what I'm going to do something first <clears throat> you can delete this edge loop and it should be matching perfectly you see now we're going to do that duplicate the scale C axis negative one select everything shift D scale x axis negative one and we're going to remove doubles it's very important or 
well yes it is very important that you know that remove doubles is just going to work with the things that you have selected so for example I, ha I have this this is height so it's not applying to remove doubles okay I, I hope you you find that uh, useful when you blend when you model okay now this is working really really well you see all you have to do is just move your frame but first we're going to do something <coughs> and you have this flat shading that you don't want you can see that this is matching really really nice we're going to smooth this and ta-da! what is this? okay this is normals okay so how do I fix that? okay control N and fix and to make it look even better edge split okay so this is going to be our frame guys I, I think that we're done with this I'm going to check okay 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 edit mode faces and what we're going to do we're going to select the middle face this one okay this one and we're going to duplicate it and move it along Y axis okay so shift D G and Y okay and I'm going to we're going to be using it like in the middle okay like that's fine and well we're going to be using this but it's going to be necessary just when we're going to be rendering so for now it's it's good okay this is our frame which is in this is in the third layer okay now we're going to move this in y axis until it, it touched the walls Okay, not touching the walls yet. Okay, there it is. I want it like in here. You see? Hey, this is looking good. I really like it. I hope you like it because you will notice that this is looking good already you see <clears throat> okay from cursor we are going to we're going to duplicate this object but is a duplicated object with a link <clears throat> okay and I scale it in x-axis in a negative negative one so well guys this is looking the way we want to look that it looks like we're going to name this frame 2 and well midpoint and that's it for this tutorial guys you have created successfully a frame or I mean two frames see you